Hey, this is Eve. I want to talk about the holidays. If you're chemically sensitive, the holidays are a very difficult time. And uh, that's why I'm now taken to wearing black during the holiday season. Oh, just kidding. Uh, I want to give you some tips on how to get through it. Um, if you're very chemically sensitive, you might cancel your holidays and stay home. Um, I canceled my birthday party one time and, um, you know, back two years ago when I was very sick, I knew that, you know, wherever I went, there was sort of a 95% chance of me getting sick wherever I went and, you know, 90% chance of getting really pretty sick. So I did learn a few tips. Um, one is to really limit your time. You know, um, you don't, you know, it's, it's a holiday. It's supposed to be fun. You know, uh, you have a lot of chemical sensitivity is learning to stand up for yourself and just, you know, saying, look, this is all I can do. I'm going to come for an hour. Um, you might um, ask people beforehand if you wouldn't mind not burning candles or could you not clean that day or if you wouldn't mind wearing perfume. Um, generally, in my experience, that stuff doesn't go over that well. I guess it just depends on who your friends and family are. Um, but it hasn't... I mean, people try sometimes if they just don't even understand what a chemical is, you know, or they just don't, they don't get it. But you can try doing the preparation beforehand and say, hey, I can stay a lot longer if you're not burning candles or if you haven't just cleaned the house. Um, another thing is to take all of your vitamins before you go. Take your NAC. This is a good detoxer. Glycine, good detoxer. You can actually take glycine and you can open a capsule and put it under your tongue, which gets right into your blood right away if you have chemical sensitivity. Vitamin C, the detox cocktail is vitamin C, alpha lipoic acid, and glutathione. So take a good bunch of this before you even go out. Make sure you're taking your probiotics all during your holiday season. Uh, your MSM, your vitamin D, D3 it's winter and there's no sun, I put them under my tongue, it goes right to the blood. Um, your, there's like a ma uh, magnesium and calcium in this, which is good for detoxing and such like. I have a, I'm going to bring it right here, but I have like a chem defense, which is molybdenum and glutathione, which I keep in my purse. You take it with you or any of this stuff. I mean, if you start feeling sick, you can take it and, and it will start detoxing you. Um, oh, activated charcoal, especially if you're eating a bunch of wonky food, you don't know what's in it. It'll and a chlorella, it'll bind, you know, the toxins in your food and stuff like that. And uh, then when you get home, if you do get sick, you know, when you get home, do the coffee enema, and you will feel better immediately. And take more vitamins and um, try to relax. So, uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I remember one, two Christmases ago when I was really sick, I went to my house and they were cooking omelets with Teflon, which of course made me really sick. And then I went to open the window and then everybody got mad because I was letting the cold air in. And then I went outside and cried and, you know. They didn't even know what was going on, you know. They, people do not know how sick we are when we're sick. It's, they're just not gonna understand. So it was very frustrating at first. And then you just learn, okay, you know, do what you can in the situation. Um, also, that same year, I went to a New Year's party. Let me take this out. We'll eat it later. I went to a New Year's party, and they were uh, cooking stuff with sterno. That's always great. If you're chemically sensitive. Candles are very toxic. They're full of um, petroleum, and there's actually lead and candle wax, so... You know, if there's people, candles, just kind of, you know, look around at your environment and don't stay until you're really sick and irritable and crying or whatever it is, headaches, you know, comatose, whatever it is that happens to you when you get uh, chemically sensitive. So just, that's my biggest recommendation is just don't stay too long. And uh, just, you know, realize going into the holidays, hey, you know, I can't go to every holiday party, I can't do everything, it's just... You know, at least for the time being, you have to, you know, stay alone in your house. No. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. It's real sad. You know, especially if, you know, a lot of my friends were really strong for a few, and it's winter, the windows are shut, I'm always having my, my head out the window. It was awful. I was so sick. 
Taking a walk outside in the fresh air is good. Um, that's about it. Also, I was just going to say, for Christmas, you know, it's nice for all of your friends that wear really strong perfume. You can get organic, uh, delicious, like, non-toxic perfumes now. You can buy them candles. Um, you can buy, I do this, since I don't know if I like it or not, but, you know, get them, like, uh, non-toxic house cleaners. You know, for my loved ones, because, of course, you once you know the truth about chemicals, you you don't want your loved ones using them either. So, you know, you get gift baskets with all kinds of clean stuff. And, you know, sometimes I'll get hooked on it. But have a wonderful holiday season. Realize that it's probably, you know, at some point, it's you're going to end up feeling bad and sad and stressed out. Or, you know, maybe you're in, like, one of those Christmas traffic jams. When I was very sick, and even now, uh, the traffic jams really make me not feel good. Just detox a lot before you go. And even a lot of times, you know what I'll do? I don't have it here, but I take make my own little bottle of like, you know, vitamin cocktail mix. And you might drink it like halfway during the thing. And, and I always feel immediately better with that. I mean, it does help your body detox. So stay detox. Keep up with the program. Do your coffee. I'm going to do coffee enemas like, I haven't even done them for hardly for a year, but I started noticing, you know, a little bit of chemical sensitivity lately. So I'm just going to do like detox, you know, from now till the new year and start the new year right, start the new year healthy and um, do saunas, you know. And you know what, if you have to cancel, it's okay, you're sick. If people don't understand, it's okay too. Um, what I start, actually started doing after like a year or two of having chemical sensitivity is just telling people I have asthma or severe asthma making some other sickness up, you know, that wasn't going to be so harshly judged because, it, you know, it hurts your feelings when people just judge you as neurotic, you know, instead of sick, which is what you really are. So I started doing that. I'll say, oh, I have a really severe asthma, so I can't breathe this, I can't breathe that. And people, people understand asthma. And you can always look me up on evespotofgold at gmail.com and exercise with me, keep your blood going, keep your spirits up, and I'm going to be detoxing and dancing right into the new year. And, uh, taking my probiotics. I wasn't taking my probiotics for like a little while because I was feeling so good and I made mistake. <laughs> Happy holidays. See you on the flip side. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.